Hi guys, so today we're talking about uh, how to properly connect Socket Mobile Barcode Scanner, the wireless barcode scanner, to your Shopify store if you're using an iPad. And, you know, we want to make sure that the way you connect it also enables it to work with this variable price barcode parser app so that you can use your label printing scale, such as the ones that you can see here. And before I get in depth about the technical aspect of it, I want to kind of show you the practical use, like why does this matter? So there was this, you know, here's the scale and we weighed an item and we produced this label. And so you can see that this is meat and the total price is buck 42. And here's another label. It's the same price, uh, same item, different price, right? And so we using this barcode scanner here can, uh, this is our Shopify store. In fact, why don't I set it down uh, this way and we're going to zoom in a little uh, to give you a better view. All right, so what I'm going to do is just scan this barcode and you can see this item get pulled up and the, the price $1.42 is reflected. And then if I scan this barcode, this item is found again with $6.38 is reflected. And so it's very handy to do this with a wireless barcode scanner, but if that's not the only option, another one is using the camera itself. Uh, and the result would be the same, right? So you can just um, scan like so, or uh, scan again like so. All right. And, but in this video, I want to say, uh, I want to concentrate and focus on helping merchants on how to get this thing working and working in the way that I'm demonstrating in this video because, you know, we're getting these reports that even though we have barcode scanner connected, uh, it's not doing what it's doing on the videos that we're demonstrating. And the reason is because there are many different ways of configuring this barcode scanner. Uh, to do so properly, you have to use basic mode uh, HID default. And so if you already have yours connected, I'm going to demonstrate on how to get it reconfigured properly. Uh, so first we'll, we want to get out uh, from our store and we're going to settings, okay? And if we already have our device connected, like I do here, let me demonstrate. All right, so let me just pick up this thing. All right, so you see how it's already connected? We're going to forget. We're going to click forget this device and this will enable us oh you heard that right so you heard that sound so that was the sound of the device disconnecting from this device so it's no longer connected and to prove that it's no longer connected we're going to back to our app we're going to our variable price barcode parser here and um, here is our variable price barcode parser What does it say? It's not charging. That's not good. Our device is about to die. Hmm. Let's see if we can give it a bit of juice here. All right, so we plugged it back in. And so to demonstrate that it's currently not functioning, I'm going to try to scan this barcode and we're just going to get you know, a rejection sound and no results. And so now this device is properly disconnected. And so the objective now is to connect it correctly uh, and do so so that it then functions uh, with our variable price barcode parser app. And so I'm going to open my settings here, right? And we're going to click on, uh, first we're going to scan this barcode here, right? which will turn off and reset this device completely. So there it is. And now we need to turn it back on by long pressing button like that and simply scan this barcode here. All right, I'll give it a minute. Here it is. All right. And so now that we've scanned it, it shows up here. 
um, there it is, uh, socket device, and we can choose it like that and wait for the barcode scanner to make a confirmation noise that it's been installed like that and the button stops flashing the, the light for the Bluetooth and on your device it shows as connected like that right so now to test it we're going to back to our uh, Shopify store all right and let me just go ahead and close and open again and here is our hmm, meat so the cursor is there the item is here we scanned it it worked and here is another item we scanned it and that also worked and so basically that's it that's how you do this that's how you set up your uh, socket mobile as uh, basic hid mode so that then it enables you to read price embedded barcodes with the variable price barcode parser on your Shopify device and effectively enabling you to use um, these label printing scales or the ones like it.